we grew our revenue by 28%. Um, if I open up that number, you will see um, our net interest income uh, went up by 33%. Um, again, just blowing that number up a little bit, our interest income grew by 26%, and you will see a correlation between that and our lending, our lending growth in, in, in the year. Our interest expense went up 15%. A bit of that you would understand, you would, you know, um, uh, you, you'd, you'd have seen the increase or you will see the increase in our, in our, in our customer liabilities as well as increasing cost of, um, cost of funding. On the NIR side, our NIR increased by about 23%. A fair, I mean, that is composed of uh, a fees, and, fees and commissions, and on the other side is trading income. So uh, uh, really more on the trading side, a bit muted, but still positive on the, on the fee income side. We continue to grow our, our NIMS, and this is uh, something that we're quite proud about in terms of how we fund our book and how we, uh, we price our products. To be fair, but also to, uh, to, to make a return, uh, if I go back to 2020, that ratio was about 3.8. Last year, that ratio was 4.4. This year, 2022, um, accountants, when you say last, uh, this year, it's actually last year, so um, a bit of, a bit of uh, uh, clarification there. 2022, that ratio was 5.4%. So we're continuing to be efficient in terms of how we manage and optimize our balance sheet. Um, cost to income ratio, um, this is, 2022 is the first year we breached the 50%. Um, I, I, saw, I, saw, I saw Patrick trying to tee up something and say the, the, the East Africa region is at 45%, 46.7 is really not there. But um, we have continued to work on our internal efficiencies and how we serve our customers to ensure that um, we have an efficient shop. And that is why our cost to income ratio went down 420 bips to, um, uh, to, to, to uh, 46.7. That gives us an outcome of 9.1 uh, billion, which is 27, uh, 26% up uh, year on year. An ROE up 200 bips to 15.3%. Uh, um, earnings up 26%. Credit loss ratio, we, um, we are in the business of lending and every time you lend, there's always a risk that um, you, will, you will suffer some losses. We had some headwinds in some of our portfolios and specific names which we continue to, uh, to manage. But in line with IFRS rules, we've taken um, provisions for those just to ensure that we are compliant with IFRS. Um, and Patrick spoke about the dividend, which I might add that it's 40% of what we paid last year, just to appreciate our, our shareholders uh, who have continued to trust us with their capital to deploy. Uh, when I look at the balance sheet, our balance sheet uh, grew by, by 22% to come to the 400 uh, billion, um, billion mark. Um, our loans uh, to customers uh, grew by 27%. Our deposits grew by, by 12%. Uh, double digits above industry on each of these metrics. So quite proud about, about that. Our NPL ratio continued to come down, um, albeit with the challenges that I've highlighted um, in the previous slide on taking additional impairment. But we've continued to manage that number down. I should highlight at this point that the industry NPL ratio is still about 13-14%. Uh, so we are below the market, but we continue to work on that to ensure that um, uh, we are lending, uh, you know, we are, we are lending dutifully and able to collect what we lend. Our houses, how the uh, Stanbic holding comes together. Um, the bank, 29% up. Uh, South Sudan. A uh, business that continues to do very, very well um, in a fairly challenging environment, 21% up. Um, our bank assurance intermediator um, is 12% up on profitability, and there's more potential when we continue to um, inject more, um, uh, uh, more investments there to drive that business. And the SPG securities hit a bump on the road um, and, and uh, came to touching distance of breaking even um, in 2022. Um, a bit of that uh, really driven by the market. Uh, market activity went down 31%. So uh, it's really um, a, a reflection of that, but really grateful to the team that continued to really engage our clients and, and ensure that that, that, um, that business that doesn't get into uh, deep red waters. 
2023 is season three of the movie that we are, we are, we are, we are shooting since 2021 of this, um, 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 uh, this strategy. And that movie talks about um, uh, transforming our client experience and in that continuing to grow and to scale our business. We think there's a lot of opportunity for us to continue uh, uh, growing in the, in the SME space and you will, you will have seen some numbers that have been shown there about uh, you know, uh, funding um, uh, SMEs to the tune of 33 uh, billion in the year. We will continue that journey. We will continue funding um, and, and financing um, oil, and, uh, oil and gas and all these sectors that we've been uh, strong in. We're going to continue on our efficiency drive. The challenge of 45% CTI is taken and we are working towards that and the executive team here have, uh, have, have written down something that we are all committed to deliver that level of efficiency. Risk management is going to be at the core of this, both risk management for purposes of the return, but also risk management for purposes of protecting our customers, because it's important that the business we do, which is a trust business, is uh, protective of our customers. We're going to continue our regional play. Um, uh, Patrick spoke about our borderless banking, which is um, a capability that allows you to transact seamlessly and efficiently across the East Africa uh, region, between here and Stanbic, Uganda, and Tanzania, um, and South Sudan. And so far, we've seen a very good uptick of that. $800 million has gone through um, that, that, that channel of the last, of the last um, uh, two years. So we're going to continue doing more of that as we enable East African trade. And we're going to continue to be future ready. The, the results of today cannot be the results of tomorrow if we don't make the investments today. So we're going to continue making those investments to be ready for tomorrow. 